part two of our OpenVPN access point build, this time on Hack5. Hello, welcome to Hack5. My name is Darren Kitchen. Hola, my name is Shannon Morse. It's your weekly dose of techno loss. Welcome, everyone. Yes, very excited about today's show. Why are you excited? Because I'm sticking it to the man and running all of my traffic through a VPN. <laughs> That's right, we are. It's none of their business. <laughs> So if Stop. you didn't watch last week's episode yet, you should probably watch it. We have been building a VPN Wi-Fi hotspot using OpenWRT and OpenVPN. So with this setup, all the traffic from clients connected to our Wi-Fi access point are going to go through our secure OpenVPN tunnel. So last week, we set up the OpenVPN access server, and we set up a few user accounts too, including me. There we go, snurbs. So today, we are going to work on the access point side of things in OpenWRT by setting up the OpenVPN client, configuring that IP routing, and then testing the connection with Wi-Fi devices. I'm assuming that we'll use my laptop to test yeah. that Wi-Fi device. You can be a Wi-Fi device, Shannon. So what does this require? So basically, this will work on any modern day OpenWRT based device. I happen okay. to be using a pineapple because it's yep. what I use as my home Wi-Fi access point and because we have lots of pineapples around here. Go figure. <laughs> um, That's true. And so, uh, and actually, as a penetration tester, if you're looking at this on that side of things, uh, this could be useful as well if you want to gather data in the cloud. Oh, smart. So think about that for a moment. Cool. Um, so to just go ahead and uh, briefly get uh, up to speed, mm -hmm. here is what we've done so far. I have added an additional account. Just like last time uh, in the OpenVPN access server, in addition to SNURBS, we now have Pineapple, very much the same thing. And so the next step is to just grab that user uh, profile for that Pineapple account. And you'll notice that I have that auto login checkbox enabled. Yeah. That's very important. That means we're going to be able to get a single file that has all the certificates in it. So in order to log in. So that was just like that text file I got last exactly week. Exactly like that text file. Okay. So we're going to go to the non slash admin. And I'm going to go ahead and log in as Pineapple. And here's the thing. You want to make sure that you choose login and not connect. If you hit connect, it's going to try to detect your operating system and, and do oh. weird stuff. You want to just hit login so you'll get this page. And then down here at the very bottom, you want to download the, the profile for your OpenVPN connection. Mm. And I want to use the auto login version, not the user locked one, which requires What's that password. Oh, that's the difference. OK. That is. So this one contains all the certificates and everything else you might uh, you know, need to get that connection uh, automatically without any user intervention. I'll just throw that in my downloads folder. Uh, so with that, all I need to do is now start setting up uh, my Wi-Fi Pineapple. Okay. So let me just head over to my Wi-Fi Pineapple. It's already plugged into my computer. And actually, it's like recently updated. So I need to go ahead and go through oh. the setup <laughs> process. Yeah, I know, right? So let me Whoops. just. <laughs> yeah, you got to press the button on the bottom to go ahead and verify okay. that this is your pineapple. And I'll just set up a password, really bad one, and call this Luigi uh, because I use Mario characters as my test pineapples. Do you have a peach yet? I do not have a peach. Let's see. I have a Mario, a Luigi, and a Toad. You don't have a Yoshi? Really? I don't have a Yoshi or a... No, no Yoshi and no peach? I only need three development pineapples. What about Daisy? I'll save that for my next Tetra setup. OK. There you go. Better. All right. Um, and then, all right, and accept all that and complete the setup. Cool. All right, so I my Wi-Fi like pineapple, I times. have done this a few times, in fact. <laughs> yes. So there we go. Our Wi-Fi pineapple is set up. I'm logged in. And actually, all of this is going to happen under the hood. Uh, I don't necessarily need to do too much here in the uh, web UI. I will set up networking. I'm going to go ahead and this connected to the uh, the Wi-Fi here at the office so so that my Wi-Fi pineapple is online. So this is just using its second radio. If I was using a USB dongle, I would be using the third radio. And this is just a quick and easy way of getting this Wi-Fi pineapple onto the internet so that when our clients then connect to it, it has a way to get out to the internet. So it would be like from, say, my Kindle or my phone or whatever mm -hmm. have you device to my Wi-Fi Pineapple, from my Wi-Fi Pineapple to whatever its internet connection source is. And in okay. this case, I'm using Wi-Fi. At home, I tether it with uh, an old phone oh, yeah. as my modem. Yeah. Because hooray for unlimited LTE. 
<laughs> unlimited. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, I can go ahead and actually test this connection by hitting load bulletins from the dashboard and make sure that it's on the internet. Yes, it is. Yay. So with that, it's now just a matter of getting this OpenVPN client file over to the pineapple. I'm doing a lot of this in Windows, which means I'm not, I mean, everything is clicky boonty right now. Yeah. Um, 172.16.42.1. I'm using this tool WinSCP here, other than the SCP command that I would be using in Linux. And this is pretty cool. This allows me to very easily transfer those files. And I'm going to go ahead and update this. I use lots of pineapples, so I'm constantly updating those. And let me get over to my downloads directory. And all you do is it's a very basic file explorer. I'm just going to copy the client.ovpn file over to my pineapple. And there we go. Now it's in slash root on my Wi-Fi pineapple, which means if I pull up putty and SSH into my Wi-Fi pineapple, 172.16.42.1. And yes, login is root. OK, so I'm on my Wi-Fi pineapple now. Yay. In fact, let me see if I can. Uh, make this a little bit easier to see. There we go. Much better. So what I'll need to first do is I'll just do an ls, and you can see, there we go. I've got my client's file. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to go ahead and do an opkg update. And so what that's going to do is download all the latest from the repository and update the database so that the Wi-Fi Pineapple knows what packages are available to it. It's very similar to apt get install if yeah. you're used to things like that, or yum, or any of those other repositories. Okay. On, OpenV or on OpenWRT, it would be opkg. Cool. So in this case, I'm just going to do opkg update. And this will apply for any OpenWRT-based device, not just the Wi-Fi Pineapple. So it's updating? It's updating. So okay. it grabs its list. There we go. I'm all set. The next part here is to just go ahead and install OpenVPN. Okay. There's a couple of variations. I want the OpenVPN OpenSSL variant, which will allow us to do that TLS VPN. Yay! Lots of acronyms here. I know. What if we did an a it's show okay. without ever just using watch, acronyms? Just watch Hacktip. We've gone over all of these. If only there were characters that would help us get through these acronyms. Hmm. Anyway, uh, <laughs> with that said, let's go ahead and now install OpenVPN OpenSSL. So this package right here is my OpenVPN. OpenVPN, it's actually either a server or a client. It doesn't really care. It'll use whatever config file you throw at it. All right. And so the next thing is I want to, before I go ahead and dial in, as it were, mm -hmm. I want to run route and show you something. So my default gateway is 10.73.31.1. That's our yeah. network here at the office. So if I were to, you know, ping, like whatever have you, those packets are going out through, through this that default gateway. gateway. Yeah. Okay. What's going to happen after I dial in, and I'll go ahead and run OpenVPN with just, in fact, I think all I have to do is specify a, uh, a file here. If I, wow, I almost did that. Um, <laughs> if I do OpenVPN with that client.ovpn file, remember, this yeah. is that file that has, has all, all the, the certificates. certificates. So I'm not prompted for anything, which is great, because now we can automate this to do this on boot every single time. Oh, cool. And initialization sequence complete. OK, well, what does that mean? Here, let me go ahead and create a new. Uh, it means you're going through the VPN now, right? Yes, it does. And so let's take a look at how that looks. I mentioned how annoying Windows is. So now in a new putty session, I'm going to run route again. And you'll notice that oh. I now have a default route through this 172 address. Well, what is that? The interface is ton0. So I can see that here, if config, and I have a ton0 now. And this is, a, uh, this is the, actual, um, the actual like interface for our VPN. Oh. So this means that now when I go to use the internet, I will be going through ton this zero. ton zero interface. Cool. OK. Yes. So I now the Wi-Fi it. Pineapple itself is a client to it's that. It's an interface. So it has an interface that is connected to that server in the cloud, yeah. right? And when it goes to fetch things online, it's going through that. Ha, ah, that's awesome. Just one more step. Yeah, how do we set up clients to go through it? Exactly. So now we need to set it up so that when you connect to my Wi-Fi Pineapple, mm -hmm. You, as a client, also go through that ton zero. Just automatically. Automatically. Okay. And so to do that, all we need to do is, actually, I have a little cheat sheet here. This is the IP tables foo. Let me just, in fact, oh, I'm going to put this tables. into a script. 
Yeah, I'm going to nano uh, move my bits.sh. Because we need to get those bits moving. All right. And so I'm just going to save that out. And, and basically, what this is going to do is tells everything that's connected to uh, our Wi Fi pineapple at this network here to go out through ton zero. Okay. Right? Rather than going out through WLAN one. Gotcha. So that's saved. I'm going to make it executable. And I'm just going to run that. All right. So all of those things could have been easily automated. In fact, I may just, you know, for my Wi-Fi pineapple at home, I'm going to just put this in, you know, my... Just make uh, a script. I'm going to make this a script that's going to run on boot. Oh, and of course. It will always dial into that VPN and set, its, uh, set that ton zero interface as the default gateway. So, uh, so now, if I connect to Luigi, the yes. Wi-Fi pineapple, then I'm going to be automatically going through that VPN. There we go. So we're going to do that in just a moment, and then we're going to get into some fun little tips as far as checking IP addresses cool. as soon as we get back. Using a VPN is always a great idea, and if you have a great idea and want to get it on the internet, do what Shannon and I do. Head over to Domain.com. They have an epic domain discovery system that'll help you find the right domain, and their checkout process is super simple, which means you'll be up and online in no time flat. And get this, the guys over at Domain.com, huge fans of Hack5, they want to hook you up with 20% off. All you have to do is use the coupon code HAK5, that spells HACK5, at checkout and save yourself a bundle. And you know what? Go ahead and tweet them. Tweet at Domain.com and say, hey, thanks for supporting HACK5 all these years. And when you think domain names, think Domain.com. We are now back and it's time to get our clients connected to the Wi-Fi Pineapple through the VPN, which all right. we just created. Yay. Exciting. So why don't you go ahead and first check your IP address to show the before and after. Because right now you're connected to just the, the Wi-Fi here at the office. Yep. And my IP address ends in 2.158. Fantastic. OK. So now I need to connect to the Wi-Fi Pineapple, correct? Oh, do you know how? Yeah, exactly. Now this is, here's the beauty of this. This is something super simple. Um, grandma knows how to connect to a Wi-Fi access point. She doesn't know how to set up an open VPN client. <laughs> but if you just say, hey, connect to this Wi-Fi access point and everything will be OK. Yeah. <laughs> so luckily, all I have to do is go over to the Wi-Fi access points that are available. Mm -hmm. And I connect to Luigi, because that's the name of it, and put in the WAP WPA. or WPA. OK, so we've got connected to Luigi. So I'm going to open a new tab. And go to IP Chicken. Okay, so now there you instead go. of being 2.158, I'm 0 0.247. We're going through the VPN, and all you had to do was connect cool. to a Wi-Fi access point. How easy is that? That's awesome. I know, right? It's nice to not have to configure everything for once. No joke. <laughs> um, in fact, I have done the same thing here on my phone, and voila, now anything connected to it, right? Nice. So okay. that, that's the nice thing, because you're probably not going to find like a VPN client for your ebook reader right. or I mean as everything becomes you know ubiquitous with Wi-Fi uh, I think you generally need an app too for um, like phones and smartphones and stuff like that unless you're using something customized like the pineapple right in fact the same concept would be applied if we we're instead of using a VPN we could use a socks proxy oh yeah uh, so that would be a fun one to follow up on because you know it uses socks proxies Tor Tor. So you could set up a wireless access point as a Tor gateway. That's uh, awesome. So yeah, lots of cool opportunities here, lots of fun things, especially now that you consider your Wi-Fi Pineapple is deployed. We're not using PineAP or any of the tools. We're just using it as a you know, regular Wi-Fi access point here. It's very cool. But if you were and you wanted the traffic to go elsewhere, mm -hmm. now you have an endpoint where interesting things can be done. Huh. Something I to love consider. It. Now, that wraps up this episode, I that believe. That does. It's a mini-series. A fun mini-series on VPNs. That was really cool. Yeah, it was a lot easier to set up than I thought it would be. Makes a fun travel router. It totally does. That's yeah. really I'm putting this neat. in my Bash RC, so it always happens. Do you have a story about these stickers here? Uh, oh, right. We've been playing with uh, 360 photography. Yes, we in have. The, in the previous weeks, and mm -hmm. I was using the Theta which is a really fun camera. However, uh, we have some friends that do 360 videography and have built much bigger and cooler cameras Ooh. like the one at Facebook. So this is the oh, giant uh, camera. I don't know if you guys saw this at Facebook. Isn't it like, like $6,000 or $16,000? It's, it's insane. It's a very complicated and awesome camera. And they're open sourcing. Wow. Uh, all this stuff for everyone to enjoy. So how fantastic is that? Well, that's nice. Uh, so yeah, we got some stickers from them. And I'm going to go ahead and here, why don't, 
Put them on the stand. Get that one peeled while I work on, oh good, this one is easy. Oh lucky, this so, one's not. But luckily I have nails, Get so. this one right over there. Oh yeah. That looks pretty good. Ta-da! Ta-da, indeed. Yay! All right. All Our the sticker stickers. wall is coming along. It is, that's awesome. And you guys can always send us stickers. The address will be down there. Yes, indeed. <laughs> all right, hey, with all of that, thank you so much for supporting Hack5. Really appreciate all the likes, subscribes, and, and all of the other things. If thank you're doing you. the social stuff, or if you want to support us directly and you have need for a Wi-Fi pineapple of your own, you can find those at hakshop.com. That's what mm -hmm. we do to make this whole warehouse happen. And don't forget, we are having another pen test with Hack5. It's coming up in September, September 16th through 18th, I believe. And you can find out all the information about that at pentestwithhack5.com. Super, super excited. Uh, seats usually sell out early, so make sure to get on it if you are interested in participating. It is a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. So, I love the challenges. We have some updated challenges this time around. Yeah. And we're working with myself as well as Sebastian from the Wife of Pineapple and Mubix. From Metasploit Minute. So great. Uh, I don't know why Evil Server's there. Hey, you know, <laughs> join us and find out. It's always a good time. Hmm, Evil Server. Maybe <laughs> Razor and Blade will be there. With all of that said, my name is Darren Kitchen. My name is Shannon Morse. Trust your Technolust. <laughs>